What is up, you two? We are here to uh, disassemble this Note 2. Um, you can see that uh, this is the Verizon version of the Note 2. It's a very shattered screen. Um, we'll show this video in parts as we'll be doing the full loca replacement, gluing, uh, disassembly, and removal. One of the tools I'll be using is a dental pick here. Uh, and you'll need a Phillips screwdriver, small Phillips screwdriver, and a plastic pry tool to open this up. The first thing we're going to go ahead and do is just remove the uh, back battery cover here, and that'll reveal the screws that we need to take out. There's 11 of them. Take out our battery first. Make sure you remove your SIM card as well as your SD card. All the silver screws that ring the outside of this uh, Note 2 is what we'll be removing. Making quick progress, only a few more to go. All right, here's our last screw to be removed. Go ahead and put these on my uh, little magnetic mat I have off to the side here. Make sure you keep track of where all these screws go and where they came from in the phone. There's not uh, too many in these um, Samsung devices, the S3, the Note 2, and, and uh, devices of that nature. You just use the back screws and then maybe one or two internal screws that uh, hold some of the boards down. Starting to get a little tricky. Use my little uh, magnetized screwdriver to pull that off. The next thing we'll be needing to do is go ahead and remove the um, plastic frame off of this. Now, uh, this is a little bit different than other uh, Galaxy devices. This uh, whole frame will come off. Stick your pry tool between the glass and the silver portion here, and it clips in as you move your pry tool around your hill. Unclip. It is a little bit tricky, and they're stuck on pretty well. Uh, so make sure you take your time as you go around the device. Get a, a pretty good amount of separation and then put your pry tool in there. Uh, one thing that you can do on these devices as you um, start to disassemble them is the battery cover where the battery sits is a place you can push in on the phone to get some leverage off the back. Start on the other side here. And try to pry it so we can see right where I'm my pry tool. Uh, the frame will come off right here. Let's move my pry tool around. Starting to get a little more separation as we move around the phone. So we push in on the back of the battery to get uh, leverage in between the two of them. If I have to remove my S Pen, we'll go ahead and take the S Pen out of the phone as well. And sometimes you're going to unsnap these, but sometimes they're put on there really well. Use another device just to keep it open here on this side as we move our way around the, the frame. A little more leverage. All right. Let's pry up underneath here. There's a clip kind of on the inside back portion here that you want to unclip as you go. So this will clip right here underneath that uh, water marker. Now if you get the bottom started, use a top will pop right off. Then you can remove the plastic backing off of it. Revealing the internal guts. The first thing you're going to do is do this, undo the screw down here at the bottom, holding the uh, bottom speaker assembly in. And we can go ahead and remove that. Going to go ahead and start prying off some of the uh, wire connectors here. Pry this one up down here at the bottom. There's a uh, connector here. We're going to go ahead and unsnap. Perfect. We're going to go ahead and pull this board off the bottom here. Separate it. Um, 
There we go. I'm going to unclip this wire connector up here at the top and just undo it all the way down. Now it does take me a second to realize, oh hey look, there's a black screw in the middle of this board that we need to unscrew before it'll pry up. Realize right then, so we'll go ahead and take this screw out. Perfect. go through and just unclip all of these ribbon connectors here. Uh, there's a ribbon connector for the LCD, there's a ribbon connector for the front facing camera, for the S Pen mat that's the end behind the LCD on here as well. Unclick the a home key button connector right there. And there's another black screw right here that holds this uh, logic board in. We'll go ahead and take that off. making sure we get this wire free as we start to pull the board up. Starting to wiggle free a little bit for us. We have another connector right here for the three and a half millimeter headphone jack. Pry that up. We need to wiggle this free. Now the power button and the vibrator does have a, a ribbon connector to it as well which is right here. We'll go ahead and pry that up and that will free the logic board for us to go ahead and remove out of the mid frame of the phone. Now I like to remove as much of the internals as possible as I start to remove this LCD. Uh, so we're going to remove the power ribbon cable here as well. We're going to pry up right behind the vibrator here and uh, That'll pry that up for us, and we can undo this ribbon connector. Now, the power button that's on the side of the phone here is connected with some sticky tape. We'll go ahead and uh, just use our dental pick here to pry it off. So it'd be nice and gentle as you start prying through these. All the ribbon cables you pry up uh, shouldn't take a lot of force to remove them, uh, so you don't want to put a lot of pressure on them to get them off. All right, we're looking pretty clean here on the back of the phone. We're going to go ahead and remove uh, the screw out of the three and a half millimeter jack here. This so will also take out the uh, uh, earpiece speaker as well and as we remove this. I'm just going to pry it uh, from this corner here. And then we'll put a little pressure on the earpiece speaker uh, to get it to pry out separately as well. Excellent. We also will need to take out the front facing camera, which is right here. And it does have a connector holding it down with a silver screw right here on the side. We'll go ahead and remove the screw. And that'll pry the little metal housing that holds it in up. There we go. All right, so we are looking uh, nice and disassembled on this Note 2. Go ahead and click the link below, and that'll show you um, how to remove the glass off the front of this Note 2. Um, we'll be doing a full actual LOCA repair on this, so we'll be using some liquid optical clear adhesive and a UV light to re-glue the LCD of this back onto glass. If you do or are just replacing the uh, frame or the LCD with a brand new frame, you can still follow the tutorial, you just will skip the LOCA uh, adhesive. Go ahead and click the link and uh, thanks for watching the video.